Rehydrate the lysis buffer containment pad with 490 microliters of nuclease-free water and allow to stand for 5 minutes. The rehydration can occur on or off of the origami platform. Place the DNA binding filter onto the center ring. Fold the waste pad layer under the filter layer and place the buffer pad onto its patterned platform. Fold the sample cup layer onto the filter layer and load the sample into the sample cup. Fold the lysis buffer transport pad down into the sample cup ensuring good contact between the buffer pad, channel, and sample. Place a clean weight on top of the device to ensure contact between layers. The device can now be left to completely decongest the sample, or about 30 minutes. When lysis is complete, remove the weight and check the sample cup to ensure complete decongestion of the sample. Unfold the sample cup layer, the channel layer, and the unused layer and cut them off to facilitate ease of use and to reduce exposure to harsh lysis buffer chemicals. Wash the DNA binding filter with 100% ethanol. When the ethanol has completely wicked through the filter into the waste pad, the waste pad can be removed and the filter can be set aside to dry. Once the filter is dry, it can be moved into a sterile syringe. Load 150 microliters of low salt elute buffer into the syringe. Siphon the elute buffer up and down through the filter using a sterile petri dish at the bottom. Allow the elute buffer to soak into the filter for 5 minutes. Collect the elute buffer into a nuclease-free tube and store for PCR preparation.